Alright, what's up guys? Um, this video is a little bit of everything. Uh, basically, I'm making it just because I got a couple things in the mail that I've been waiting on for a while. One is the, um, the Boker Plus Toucan, little multi-tool thing. I already opened this up and everything. This isn't an unboxing or anything like that. Also, uh, a zero tolerance uh, blade that I, I picked up just for um, to replace my... Uh, the uh, Kershaw Cyclone that I've been EDCing. I've been looking for something around the same size, but uh, a little bit different steel. Tell you the truth, I'm not even sure what kind of steel this uses. It's, um, I mean, it's a pretty high quality stainless that uh, I'm not sure if it's um, uh, 440 or, or what, but I mean, it, it's. It doesn't hold an edge too good, but you can get a really nice uh, cutting edge on it. Uh, I touch it up on a ceramic rod every now and then, but uh, I mean it, it's a hard use. It's a hard use knife. This one right here. So I've been looking for something uh, to replace that with the size and everything. And, and the closest thing I can find is uh, the ZT350, uh, which is basically just the liner lock uh, and smaller version of the. Uh, 300 series um, now I held the 300 uh, 301 302 one of them I think it was the 301 the OD green uh, scales at a uh, knife show and that one had the titanium frame lock on it uh, slightly larger blade slightly larger scales and also a little bit beefier because it was the 3d machined um, G10 on one side and uh, 3d machined titanium on the other side, so it was a little, slightly larger. I really like the feel of it. I thought this one was going to be about the same, same size to fit my hands, and it's a little bit smaller, but it still fits pretty good. And it, uh, it's about the same as this one is a little bit slow to deploy, especially compared to that. That's got a um, pretty strong torsion bar on it uh, that really flings out of there, almost like an auto. Uh, this thing I have tightened up a lot though, just to eliminate any blade play, because I, I did thump on this quite a bit. This knife, it's all aluminum scales, full, you know, this is like a tank, this thing here, you know. So, like I said, I just wanted something to kind of replace that. And this thing is a little bit lighter than that. Um, actually, quite a bit lighter. A lot, I mean, the the liners on this thing are, see, I don't know why there's a light on, on here now. The liners are a lot thicker than that. I mean, this is, it is a zero tolerance, which is um, Kershaw's uh, higher end um line of knives this one comes with um s30v uh steel it's a canadian design you can tell with this blade this real organic recurve uh made in usa just like all you know the zero to i believe all zero tolerance I mean, they do say american built on all the boxes so i believe they are all american built uh, this thing is a uh, pretty nice knife you know, it's being that it's got the uh, G10 instead of the aluminum like that one, I can kind of feel uh, a little bit of flexing. You know, it does have these stainless liners. I could feel a little bit of flexing, but it, I mean, it is tough. There's there's absolutely no blade play. I messed around with it a little bit. Uh, sorry, guys, for the, um, you know, the bad uh, camera shots. I'm just using my, uh, my iPhone. But it's... Um, it is constructed very well. It's got a nice uh, edge on it. Um, I bought it used, but it's uh, it still has a uh, factory edge on it. It hasn't been used much at all. I mean, I, I looked it over very well under the, uh, under the lights, um, the sunlight and everything, and it doesn't look like it was ever carried even. Uh, anyway, there's there's that. Uh, also in the background, I just thought it would be pretty neat. I'm going shooting uh, in a little bit, so I figured I'd lay my guns out. The ones that I'm going to be shooting today, uh, that's a PLR, uh, Caltech PLR. It shoots the 5.56, which is a pretty neat.